Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, this is going to be my Walgreens haul for the week of June 7th, 2020. Now, it's been a while since I've been to Walgreens, and it's been about uh, uh, going on three months since I've been to Walgreens doing any coupon shopping. Uh, I don't make a regular trip to the town where uh, my Walgreens is located at. Uh, so, yeah, I mostly just focus at, at CVS because I prefer CVS couponing anyways. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But uh, I saw some other YouTubers uh, advertise some good deals that were happening at Walgreens this week, and I want to take advantage of it because I still had several dollars and points that I want to get rid of before they expire. Uh, so I was trying to take care of that on this trip, and I managed to get some good deals. Now, I did have a hiccup along the way that ended up costing me $4 uh, that I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get back because uh, it's one of those issues where uh, I was not issued a registered reward uh, like I should have been and the currently the Walgreens chat on the website is not working I don't know if it's gone forever or if it's just down at the moment but uh, normally whenever I have an issue, I can just go to the Walgreens chat and they will reimburse me for whatever issue I had at the register just by issuing me some points in, uh, in return for the inconvenience. Uh, I haven't had that happen yet, but anyways, I'll talk about that as we go along. So I had a total of two transactions that I did. Uh, this is a overview of everything that I got in combination of the two transactions. But let's get into the single transactions, and I'll break it down as we go along. Okay, so this is everything I got in the first transaction. I got the three Oral-B toothbrushes, a Colgate Optic White toothbrush, as well as a Colgate Total toothpaste, and a Gillette Venus Smooth Razor. Now, the issue I'm going to have is going to involve the Colgate toothbrush and toothpaste. Talk about that in just a second. So since that was the issue, let's jump into that deal first. So the ad this week on the Colgate, certain Colgate toothpaste and toothbrushes is not mentioned right here in this description, but the toothbrushes are included in the same deal. Where they're on sale for $2.99 with card, and when you purchase two of them, you'll receive a $4 register reward. Now the two items that I purchased, even though I checked online and it was even marked in the store, it was tagged, everything, uh, I did not receive the $4 register reward. For buying the two items that I did. And as you can see from the list of items on the website, there are Optic White toothbrushes included in this deal. So I did double check to make sure that the toothpaste and toothbrushes were both in the same deal together at $2.99 for that $4 register reward. Uh, as you can see here, this here is the uh, toothbrush that I purchased, and on down the list is the toothpaste. Now on the Colgate, I did not have any digital coupons. Now, check your Walgreens app. You may have a good deal on some Colgate toothpaste or the toothbrushes. If so, use your digital coupon. Uh, I did not have anything. However, I did have some paper insert coupons from a recent uh, Retail Me Not circular. And those coupons were for 50 cents off of a toothpaste and also 50 cents off of the toothbrush. That's why I mixed them up like I did. Okay, so here is a written breakdown of what happened. I'll try to put this where you can see it. Uh, now, it's not going to be the best deal because when it comes to toothpaste and oral care, uh, free is what you usually want to shoot for. However, if you're a beginner, uh, this is a decent deal to start off with. Um, the reason why I did this is because I was trying to include it with a booster coupon, and I'll get to that in just a moment. So you had $2.99 each for the toothpaste and the toothbrush. That total five dollars and ninety-eight cents is subtotal. Then you subtract the fifty cents insert coupons for each item, leaves you with a four ninety-eight subtotal. You would pay that out of pocket, and you would receive your four dollar register reward supposedly, and you would end up with ninety-eight cents for the total of those two items if you rolled register rewards. Now, like I said, I had an issue with this. I didn't receive my register reward, so I ended up just paying. The 498 for it. All right, so next let's talk about the Gillette razor. Now the Gillette men's razors and Gillette Venus razors were on sale this week. Select items were 9.99 with card, 
and you would get a four dollar register reward for the purchase of one now i got lucky this week i had a digital coupon for four dollars off of a gillette venus razor so i clipped that coupon in the walgreens app and that really helped bring my total down all right so here's the breakdown on the razor the venus razor was 9.99 i had the four dollar digital coupon brought the subtotal to 5.99 and if you rolled a register reward or points you would get the razor for one dollar and ninety nine cents which is not too bad for a razor okay last thing in this transaction were the oral b toothbrushes they were on sale this week for 2.99 with card and when you purchase three you would get a three dollar register reward there is also a five off of three digital coupon in the walgreens app so be sure to clip that okay so here's the breakdown you had three toothbrushes at $2.99 a piece that brings your subtotal to $8.97 then you apply that $5 Crest digital coupon in the Walgreens app that brings the subtotal down to $3.97 that you would pay out of pocket or you could roll $3 in register rewards that you receive and it would make it $0.97 cents for the three toothbrushes now before we move on to the total of the transaction and go over the receipt breakdown there's a couple items I need to tell you about there is one item missing from here that it was on the receipt. I did purchase a small candy for 75 cents. I used that as a filler item to attach my Walgreens booster coupon because I don't remember if I have to have something to attach with it or not. Um, it's been so long since I've shopped at Walgreens. I can't remember the rules. I know the general rule is at Walgreens there has to be an item for a coupon to attach to. And in this case, I had a Walgreens booster coupon for spend 15 and get 5,000 points or five dollars in points and I just didn't want to risk it so I wanted to go ahead and attach that booster to a filler item so that's where the candy come into play so the five off of three crest and oral B attached to these three items the 50 cents toothbrush coupon attached to the toothbrush Colgate toothpaste 50 cent coupon attached to it and the digital Gillette Venus razor coupon attached to that so everything was accounted for so that's why I had to have the filler item just to be safe so now let's go over our subtotals and add everything up and see how the transaction would have played out so on the first transaction after the register rewards and everything was rolled over and applied it was 98 cents so we take 98 cents add that to the 199 of the razor and then add the 97 cents of the oral B toothbrushes so that left me as though the transaction was three dollars and ninety four cents as is if you were rolling register rewards or points now once you factor in the five dollar in points booster that would have made it a one dollar and six cent money maker before tax however since I had the issue where I did not receive the four dollar register reward on the Colgate products I ended up paying out of pocket it was not in fact a money maker on this item however it was still a decent deal so I would just add back the four dollars that I did not receive so the entire transaction before tax was two dollars and ninety four cents which isn't bad for all those items but hopefully your register rewards will print and you can make it a one dollar money maker okay here's a screenshot of the receipt for you guys to see uh, like I said I got the 75 cent Hershey's candy here are the three Oral-B toothbrushes at 2.99 piece totaling 8.97 the Colgate toothpaste at $2.99 as well as $2.99 for the toothbrush. Then we had the Venus razor for $9.99. Plier coupons, the two 50 cents coupons on the Colgate products. The $5 off of three Oral-B or Crest item applied as well as the $4 coupon on the Venus razor. That brought my subtotal to $15.69. Add the tax comes to $17.49. I did go ahead and use five dollars in points ended up paying twelve forty nine out of pocket now I do want to note because this was a spend deal on the booster coupon that I was trying to use I could not pay for the entire transaction with points 
because it was a spend deal. Now, spend deals, you have to actually spend whatever that amount is. In this case, it was $15. So I was going to use $15 worth of either coupons plus cash out of pocket. Points do not count. They actually count against your spend deals. So looking over the coupons, I actually had $10 in coupons. So in order to reach the threshold, I just need to spend $5 out of pocket to reach that $15 threshold and qualify me for that 5,000 point booster. In which case, I did spend $12.49 out of pocket. So everything was good on that end. Okay, and here's a quick look at the points. I started with 28,380. Got 200 in everyday points, as well as the 5,000 bonus points from the spin booster. Redeemed 5,000, so they washed each other out. I was left with 28,580. All right, moving on to transaction number two. Now this one's going to be a little bit easier to follow because there's not going to be any register rewards, points, boosters, coupons, or anything like that to really factor in. I was just using this to use up some of my points and these items were on sale plus they had Scott toilet paper and it's been a while since I was able to buy any toilet paper so I decided I'd take advantage of the opportunity and get a couple rolls of toilet paper. Now speaking of the Scott toilet paper they are regular price five dollars each. Now Walgreens has an in-store coupon in IVC uh, that automatically applies if you have the coupon clipped in your Walgreens app. It is for $1.25 off of each Scott item. So that's $1.25 off of that $5 and $1.25 off of that $5, making them $3.75 a piece. Also this week, Walgreens had a deal going on with the Arm & Hammer power packs as well as the smaller bottles of the detergent where they were on sale for buy one at $6.99 and get the other two free. This applies to the 43.75 ounce or 50 ounce liquids or the 17 or 21 pack pods. Again, no coupons or anything special on this. Uh, if you do have anything, feel free to use them. Just remember you cannot use coupons on your free items. So in this case, you buy one, the other two are free. So at max, you could use two Arm & Hammer coupons for the two that you actually paid for. Now, since there weren't any coupons or anything special this transaction, I'm just going to jump straight to the receipt breakdown for you guys and should be able to follow along easy enough on it. So, like I said, the Arm & Hammer was buy one, get two free. So, you buy one at $6.99, other two items were free. I repeated that twice. Then on the Scott toilet paper, uh, they were $5 a piece, so total $10. But, like I said, the $1.25 IVC applied to each item which took off $250, making them $375 a piece. Now, I did go ahead and use the register reward from the previous transaction, the $3 and the $4 that I did receive. That brought my subtotal down to $14.48, add the tax, comes to $16.16. I went ahead and redeemed $10 in Walgreens points, paid $6.16 out of pocket. And here is the points breakdown, started with $28.580, Got 110 in everyday points, redeemed 10,000 points, end in balance with 18,690, or in other words, $18.69 in points. Okay, and here is the spreadsheet breakdown of each transaction. On the first transaction, I spent $12.49 out of pocket. I did not spend any register rewards, so I didn't have anything. However, I did earn the $7, even though it should have been $4 more than that. I did spend $5 in points and I earned back $5 from the points booster and then 20 cents in everyday rewards. So $5.20. I had 21 cents in additional savings from apps like Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, Receipt Hog, things like that. If you're interested in any of those apps, guys, check the description of this video. You'll find a link to my blogger post. You will find a full list of all the websites and apps that I use. And feel free to use any of the referral links. I would greatly appreciate it. So after everything was applied, it was as though the transaction actually cost me $5.08 after tax and all rewards were applied. So I made a note of the three register reward on the crest, or in this case the Oral-B, 
four dollar register award on the Venus Razor. Fortunately, didn't get the Colgate, so that left me with seven dollars in register rewards, twenty eight fifty four in points. Going into transaction number two. Transaction number two, I spent six sixteen cash out of pocket. I used those seven dollar in register rewards I got in the previous transaction. Did not earn anything back. Spent ten dollars in points. Earned eleven cents in everyday points. 14 cents in bonus savings through Receipt Hog and apps like that. So it was as though I paid $22.91 out of pocket with all everything applied after tax. I was left with $0 in register rewards and $18.65 in points. Total combination for both transactions comes out to $27.99 for both transactions. Now just keep in mind guys that that total is going to be higher uh, the normal if you are a regular shopper at Walgreens I count the points spent and register rewards spent into this total I count that as money spent so my goal was to get my points down so naturally the total spent is going to be higher than if you were just rolling points alright guys so that was everything on my Walgreens haul now before I forget about it, I want to jump over to a website and tell you about a promotion that PNG is doing right now. Hopefully you're aware of PNGEveryday.com where you can go to this website and print out coupons like on your Tide, Crest, any of the PNG products. You can print out a digital coupon. Well, not a digital coupon, excuse me. You can print out a internet coupon uh, to use in store. Now they recently changed things up with the website and they added an extra feature that's worth talking about. They actually introduced a rewards program. So whenever you sign up for pngeveryday.com, it'll actually take you to pggoodeveryday.com. You can type it either way, it's going to take you to the website. And sign up for an account and not only can you go here and print out the various different coupons they have, you can also answer a few questions, complete some surveys and get points. You also scan your receipts, upload an image of your receipts for any P&G products, your Tide, Crest, Oral-B, Gillette, Venus, anything like that, any of their P&G brands, and you will receive points for each item. You will receive 50 points per item up to 250 points per receipt. In other words, five items per receipt. And what you do with those points, they accumulate up here in the corner. And when you've earned enough points, you can redeem them for gift cards. Or you can donate the money to a cause of your choice. Now the gift card selection is kind of slim, but it is something, guys. So you have uh, something like Chipotle, Panera, Starbucks, the Apple and iTunes store, Best Buy, Domino's, Dunkin Donuts, and Taco Bell, all at $5 digital gift cards. The point value on all of them to redeem is $750. So when you do the math on that, it comes out to 150 points equals $1 in value. And since you get 50 points per item per receipt, that just means it only takes 15 items to get enough points to redeem for a gift card. And considering we're constantly buying P&G products, it shouldn't be very hard to reach that threshold. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Shanika Owens at Shanika Owens TV. Uh, I actually knew about the P&G Good Every Day by watching her video earlier today. So guys, if you're not already subscribed to her, go check out her channel and give her video a like and subscribe to her. She's got really good video breakdowns of all her deals. Very easy to follow if you're a beginner or an experienced couponer. She's worth checking out. And if you do jump over on her channel, feel free to comment on one of her videos that Clint sent you. She's not going to have a clue who I am, but it would still be funny to see her reaction. Alright guys, this is going to wrap up this video from my Walgreens haul for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did do a CVS haul today. Um, so I am going to be working on that video after I finish editing this. So look forward to that sometime tomorrow. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it if you drop a like on the video if you found the information useful. And I'll also appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. 
Also remember the blogger link down in the description of the video that will take you to the website with all my websites and apps that I currently use and all the referral links are listed in that blogger post. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.